welcome back guys and uh, what we have done so far we've done quite a lot of progress but what i thought we could do is if you look at the component date mount actually the overall code here yeah, it is now overwhelming uh, and in fact if we're to further customize put in a lot of options there this will become too much bloated so i thought maybe if we could decouple uh, some of this code have it separate and bring it uh, in here yeah, it might look a bit cleaner so let's go ahead and do like try and do likewise together and what we'll do is we'll put a new let us call this init materialize d for date t for time and this is for pickers dot js you can call it anything yeah now i'm gonna create a class here export constant and we are going to give it the same name in it we say it mat t for date t for time then pika yeah and it's an arrow function no this should be equals to that yeah equals that that okay so what we're going to do is if we come to our to do js if we get this is what we want to take off from there and this comes up to here doesn't it so we want to take off cut that and bring it to there right so let's see how we're going to do it so if we pass that there So it's this function that we want. So that can go and that will go. But here we need this con uh, context, isn't it? Copy, paste so place the context there now we need to sort out this m which we will get from if we come here copy that go to our code in there right So we'll paste that there. So this looks sorted out. Now we need to then go to our, this one here. So what we want in this one on our component did mount, we want to bring in that uh, init this one 
and put in our context there right so let's save everything and let us try and run the code uh, m is not is defined but never used uh, it is here we're just going to leave that commented uh, just in case you know if we're to bring in something that needs initializing you know like uh, say for example a check input would need initializing okay so if we save all this now yeah this is clean and clean things clean things and allocate it to the cleaners a date that date time that time yeah things are going into the state that's good we're doing well still working yeah the end date time I mean yeah okay then if we submit this yeah there it's ready for submission to the back end so what we were able to do here was to clean this up a little bit um, in there so I suppose any is um, materialized component that will need initialization you can go back in there so just rename this to something you know that will be easily follow and you can init go on and initialize everything there okay so that when it comes to your component it looks clean right but if we are not customizing it remember you've got auto in it to play with yeah if we are customizing i will go with this yeah so guys i think i hope this is going to help somebody that would have otherwise encounter the same problems that i did here so i had to do some researching and this is what i came up with and i hope you'll find this a uh, very very helpful in the sense that uh, if you will be able to follow this i'm sure for all the other components that uh, need initializing uh, you will use either use auto init customize the way i we have actually done here and that's all that is needed and you won't get into a temptation whereby you want to learn another framework something something else but just using the generic materialized CSS, I'm sure you will enjoy it. So, hope you like this. And if you do, please do show you do like it and share this with other people and your friends, other developers, and this will help us all. Thank you very much. Goodbye.